let's go over some practical applications of the liquidity tracker indicator. Here in the bookmap widget panel, I'm displaying the liquidity on the bid, the ask, and the difference between the bid and the ask. This is the line that I have plotted here in the subchart. Since this is plotted and displayed over time, I now have references of imbalances of liquidity. High areas up in here, as you can see, there is an imbalance on the bid. There is more liquidity on the bid compared to the ask. These lower areas here, there's more liquidity on the ask compared to the bid. Now, let's align this information here of imbalance with price structure and the aggressive volume. Here we have an extreme value of liquidity on the ask. This makes good sense because we can see that there is a lot of liquidity here up on the ask. Price starts to rotate back down and let's take a look at an imbalance on the bid. As we can see here we get an extreme value. Okay. We don't see a lot of selling down at this area here. Okay. It's at the bottom of the trend as you can see. Therefore we have the structure, we have the imbalance, and we don't have any sort of imbalance in the volume, it makes sense that price is going to follow the path of least resistance and come back up into an area here where it broke from. Here we're looking at another imbalance on the ask. Look down here and you can see in reference to the other areas here, this is an extreme value on the ask. We rotate back down out of that area and we get another imbalance here on the bid in reference to the previous one here. Price bounces out of that area and we get a bounce back up into this little area where we broke from again. Okay. And you can see right in this area here we get another imbalance on the ask. Price ro rotates back down, back down into high liquidity that is on the bid here and of course we, we're going to get an imbalance on the bid. We can see it here in the heat map and here it is plotted on the chart. We get a bounce out of that area, come back up into an imbalance, and we see an imbalance here on the ask. Price rotates again, we get another imbalance here on the bid. Price rotates again, we get another imbalance here on the ask. You can see that I'm using this indicator here, looking at a higher time frame, looking at a trending market, as well as looking at areas of consolidation. We can also look at other areas on much smaller time frames and zoom into this area here. Okay, so here we can see the same output. On the ask, we get an extreme level. Okay, we go up just a little bit higher here. We get another extreme level though. Price drops and we start to see levels here on the, on the bid in reference to other areas on the bid the price goes back up into this area here we get another level or extreme value in liquidity here on the ask. Price reverts back into value area here and we start to see some back and forth here but in reference to these areas it's still holding true. Note this indicator is not designed to be some sort of buy sell signal. It is to be used as confluence at particular price levels. You want to see the imbalance in the order book. What truly matters is the context between the liquidity imbalance, the price action structure, and the ratio of the aggressive buyers and sellers. Let's zoom out and take a quick look at this level down here. Now we do see that there are some more sellers than buyers, but let's look at the context here. We can also see in these little areas that there is ratio of buyers and sellers that's rather equal. A bit more selling than buying is what it looks like but we have a price structure. We also have an imbalance here on the bid okay? and we don't have an extreme imbalance in the aggressor. So we get a bounce back up to the top of the range. Now suppose that we saw lots of selling in these areas here, especially at this swing here. This means that there is an imbalance in the aggressive selling. They are seeking higher liquidity. Therefore, price is likely to take that liquidity to continue to trade through it and to lower areas. 